So I goof, guys. I forgot to record the building by a trash can during class today. So I thought I can make another trash can pretty quick. So let's go ahead and go through that together in case you're struggling, need a little bit of some help. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new design. And this new design is going to be based on the dimensions that we use for the trash can that we did in class. So I'm going to go ahead and start by dragging a ruler out to the bottom left corner of our work plane. Zoom out a little bit. Let's make sure that we're using the midpoint. There we go. Drag a cylinder out onto the work plane. We're going to make it 50 wide, 50 long. And we determined in class that the trash can is going to be 80 units high, but the bottom is just going to be one. And we're going to make that black. Remember, you are welcome to pause the video anytime you need to to get caught up with any of these steps. Okay. Doesn't look like I'm using the midpoint, so let me make sure we're using that now. I'm gonna go ahead and center our, our bottom of the trash can. So I'm gonna change this to 100. So the dimension to 100. Now our trash can bottom is in the middle of our work plane. Next, let's grab a box, drag the box out onto the work plane. We're going to make it 80 tall. We're going to make it one deep. And we're going to go ahead and stick with the five width. And these are the bars that are going to go around the bottom of the trash can up to form the main the container part of the trash can. Let me zoom in a little bit. Let's align the bottom. And our first bar here. So I selected both shapes. Now I'm going to align them. And we're going to align it to the bottom here. So we're going to move it over. We're going to align it to this bottom edge of the trash can closest to us. So I'm going to click this dot here. And you'll notice that this is down beneath the lid. So I'm gonna just click off here, click on our bar and push the D button to bring it up to the top, like so. Using my mouse, I'm gonna right click and drag on the work plane over here so we can see what it looks like so far. Zoom in just a touch. What we want to do now is take a bar and add it over here to this side. So I'm going to click this one. I'm going to duplicate it. So now there's one bar inside of that other one that we're going to move over to the side. So I'm going to hold the shift key on the keyboard and I'm going to push the right arrow until we get this moved over to the opposite end. Now in class, you might remember that this is jutting out just a bit too much. So I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna push the left arrow button once to kind of get it, meld it in with the bottom of the trash can, like that. Okay, so now they're both at opposite ends of the bottom and there's just a little piece sticking out on both. That's what we want. Next, I'm gonna click the left bar, hold the shift key, I'm going to click the right bar. We're going to group these two items so that way they act like one piece. Now I'm going to duplicate it. So now you have two bars inside of the other two bars. And I'm going to use the rotate tool to move this 22.5 degrees. Like that. Now, without clicking anything, I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to click the duplicate tool. And just keep doing that until we get all the way around 
the trash can. We have that in place now. Let me go ahead and click the home button, see how this looks. So far, so good. Next thing we're going to do is grab a torus from our basic shapes here. I have to get down a little bit. There we go. Drag this out onto the work plane. We'll put that there. Now, if you'll remember, we wanted to make this the same size as our trash can, so we're going to make this 50, make this 50. Now, this is much too wide, so we're going to do a little bit of some adjusting to it. We're going to make the tube here one unit thick. And make the size 24, so it looks a little rounder. Steps are already at, let me see, what do we have it at? Now the radius, we want to come here and make this just a little smaller. No, 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 we want to click the numbers out of here. There we go, 50 by 50. Looking pretty good. Let's make this red. Same color as the trash can. Now we're going to align this with the trash can and raise it up to put this, the reinforcement ring at the top of our trash can. So let me go ahead and push Control All to select everything. We're going to align to our trash can here. And make sure you click on the black part because I haven't grouped everything together just yet, like we did in class. So now that we're centering on the bottom, we're going to bring our ring over. We're going to bring our ring back so it's aligned with the bottom of the trash can. And we're going to raise the elevation up to 80. Oops, I did the wrong thing. Let me select our ring here. There we go. Now we got to raise it up to 80. There we go. Now we notice in class that it looks a little weird, so we could make the ring a bit bigger so it fits around the bars. So we can make this 52. This diameter 52. And now it should fit the top a little more snugly. And that looks pretty good. Let's group everything now. So we're going to push Control A. and group. Everything might change to black. Remember, we can always click the multicolor tool. There we go. So we're almost done. The problem is there's not a lot of reinforcement. You know, if somebody were to sit on this trash can or, you know, kick at the bars here, it might bend in. So we're going to put another reinforcement ring about halfway down to give it a little bit more strength. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on the ring here. You see that there's that uh, red box around the bottom. That means now I can select just the ring. There we go. Let's duplicate it. And we're going to change the height to 40. Bring that down. Let's make it black. And there we go, guys. There is our trash can. Last thing we need to do is give it the right name. So we're going to give it a proper name. First initial. Last name. Use yours, not mine, please. And we're going to call it 2021 Trash Can. There we go. 
So tomorrow you guys will go ahead and work on making a lid for this trash can, making sure that it fits snugly on the top. Thanks for watching, guys.